watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Today I have a new face for Greater Brockton. I have Rebecca James from the Old Colony YMCA. Welcome, Rebecca. Hi, Mark. Thanks for having me. Nice to meet you. Nice to have you here. Um, we're talking YMCA. We sure are. Right? I can't sing it. I can't do the dance. No. I was never good at any of that. Um, Let's talk about the why, and then you have a great event coming up. We're going to do another segment and promote that event, but we can tie a little bit of that in here. Sure. Old Colony YMCA has been around for a while. The Old Colony YMCA has been around for a really long time. We actually have been in Brockton for 128 years. Mm -hmm. So we've been part of the community here. Um, we are we are local community organization, and since joining the Brockton community, 128 years ago, we've actually expanded our footprint quite a bit. And mm -hmm. so Old Colony YMCA now actually has seven traditional branches. Mm -hmm. We span all the way down to Plymouth, which just opened in October of this year. Mm -hmm. We have a number of programs uh, that you might think of when you think of the Y. So we have four summer camps. Mm -hmm. We actually are the largest child care provider in southeastern Massachusetts. And we have a whole host of social services programs that, that go uh, across southeastern Mass. So we're really so much more than that um, traditional kind of gym and swim that you might think of when you think of the Y. Now, from what I understand about the Y, you have the central division right downtown, right next to our do. Brockton Public Library. I'm on the board of trustees there, so you're our neighbor. We are. And then there's the youth division. Mm -hmm. And like you said, the child care. There's West Chestnut Street, if I'm not mistaken. There, um, I know in the past you guys have been allied with the hospitals. There used to be Y sites at the the hospitals. Mm -hmm. I know that isn't the case now, but there's a lot of, I mean, daycare. I mean, people there's a work. lot going on. We have 48 child care sites, and wow. we actually welcome over uh, 2,800 kids, mm -hmm. youth, every day. Um, it's a safe place to put your child. It's an educationally enriched program, and it's a program where you have caring adults. You know, so it's it's really so much more than just kind of, you know, a, a place for your child to be. It's, it's um, a much more well-rounded program. But beyond that, you know, when we, when we look at the why, people think traditional gym and swim, right? Mm -hmm. You've got your group exercise programs, you've got the swimming pool, and what people might not know about the why is we're actually a nonprofit organization. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We do really, really exciting programs within our branches, and, and some of those programs, just to highlight, are things like our Live Strong program. Mm -hmm. Live Strong is a free 12-week program that focuses on cancer survivors. We have an enhanced fitness program, which is specific to our active older members, which works with seniors who maybe want to increase mobility or increase endurance, mm -hmm. or maybe just want to um, get out and be a little bit more social. We have programs like KEEP, which focus on our youth. You know, childhood obesity is an, ap an ap epidemic across the country. And so we have a program that focuses on creating healthy lifestyles with a, a nutrition component so that our youth today can create lifelong mm -hmm. uh, habits. So those are some of the things that, um, you know, you might see in our traditional branch. But we have programs that you might not even know about. You know, I said we were a nonprofit. And we have programs uh, like workforce development. Right here in Brockton, we have a program called Youth Build. Right. It's something where we give out-of-school youth an opportunity to get an education to earn that high school degree that maybe they didn't get the first time. They also um, have a chance to focus on some um, life skills, leadership skills, and then when they finish the program, to actually leave the program with some workforce skills. And so those are um, just examples of programs that maybe we maybe didn't think about um, when you think about why. Now, you guys are about partnerships. You're Absolutely. involved with a lot of different community organizations. And what we're also going to promote in another segment is a spinathon. Did yeah. I get that right? Yeah. Tell me about that. Spinathon. It's a great event. This is our sixth annual. Spinathon's happening on Saturday, March 12th. Mm -hmm. So it's just around the corner. This is something that we hold right here in Brockton down at our, our main Old Colony branch. But we also have uh, this, this event happening at all of our branches. So you can go to any one of our seven branches. It's, it's kind of neat because it's, it's a chance to get the community involved. You don't have to be a member. You don't have to be a spinner. You just want to maybe to participate, to, to support your local community. 
it's ten dollars to register mm -hmm. we ask our spinners to come to sit on a bike for an hour to fundraise for us and you know if you're not if that's not maybe your thing you can get involved in spinathon in a number of different ways you can you just go right online and make a donation if you'd like mm -hmm. or you can get your company involved we have company sponsorships that start at two hundred and fifty dollars they go all the way up to to five thousand and we have some great community partners that support us for this event crescent credit union is one of those mm -hmm. and we're so pleased to be able to partner with them again in the brockton area it's our second year partnering with crescent and and they actually reach out um, and get their company involved um, in, in a really a, a different way you know they they actually ask their employees to spin mm -hmm. they do it right in the branches they're actually going to do that on February 25th mm -hmm. and they um, they really take it to a different level we're so excited to to have that as an opportunity and they've really helped us take the spinathon event in Brockton to a whole new level now if you want to find out more about the why the spinathon anything like that website absolutely it is Classy, C L A S S Y dot org forward slash Brockton Spins. Mm, okay. And so you can go on and learn about the event that's happening in the 12th. Yeah. You can register, you can make a donation, you can learn about how to get your company involved. You can, of course, um, also head over to um, our main webpage, which is Old Colony YMCA dot org. There you go. Okay, so what haven't we talked about? What else do you have? You have all the notes. I sure do. You know, I, I wanted to make sure that we represented the why, um, all the different pieces, and, and really it's, it's so hard to find um, just a few small things to say, but I wanted to, I guess, highlight the fact that the YMCA is a traditional gym and swim program, but beyond that, what a lot of people don't know is we are a nonprofit, and we do fundraise. And we fundraise, and, and the Spinathon is a great example of an opportunity to get involved, but we do this for, for our annual campaign. And people kind of say, well, you know, what's an annual campaign? That's, that doesn't really tell me a lot. But annual campaign um, is what provides us the ability to give financial services and financial aid to families and individuals in our local community that wouldn't have otherwise been able to afford programming. Um, you know, to, to kind of put that in context, you know, I, I'm a mom. I have two boys. They actually go to our Stoughton Y daycare, which I love. Um, but I know firsthand how expensive daycare is. And, you know, for a lot of families, you know, you're doing all right. And all of a sudden, there might be something unexpected. Maybe there's a job loss. Maybe there's, um, you know, an accident that prevents someone from working. And all of a sudden, you aren't able to afford the things that you are able to afford. And so the, the annual campaign provides that financial assistance for critical programming like daycare like summer camp, yeah. summer fun clubs, after school programming. You know, this is an opportunity to, you know, to put your son or daughter in a place that's safe, in a place where there are caring adults that want to be with your um, son or daughter. We also have uh, programs like our street outreach and violence prevention. Mm -hmm. You know, Safe Corners uh, is right here in Brockton. We provide education and partner with the local school district, and we are, you know, just working to make Brockton a better community. And that's, you know, something that is provided through grants and through our corporate partnerships and, and through things like the annual campaign. You're right. We could talk about it for days. We'll have you back. We could. Okay, Thank so you. You'll have, come back. Thank Wonderful. you. Wonderful. Pleasure to meet you. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.